Back again with another torch review. I've got the MT21C in, and this came in from Nightcore for a review and a test. Bit different on this because it's one of a fairly small number of torches that have an angle head. So, as per usual, we will just have a quick skim over the box just to see what the main features are. We've got that 0 to 90 degrees uh, adjustment on the head, and they're also using a quite a familiar LED, the XBL HD V6. And they use that on quite a few of their models, and this one has quite a shallow reflector and a low candela, so we're expecting quite a wide beam pattern. You get the included strap and the spare o-rings with this package and a holster same style as the previous ones that i've looked at from nightcore in other words it's decent quality you've got a waterproof lining inside you also have the velcro on the back for the loop and there's a sewn in section as well other items that you get included are the clip you can adjust this around you have a position you can turn that around i'll show you that later on and this is the torch itself so it's fairly compact just over 13 centimeters in length you also have the side switch which sticks up that's metal and there's the angle head you'll see i'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second quite a bit of knurling on the body you've also got a crenulated bezel on the top so if you put it head down you'll be able to see if it's been left on now design's quite different from the other angle head torches that I've looked at. So this one actually just flips down and it's got a five position click on it. So you can feel when it's in the position that you want and it holds that position. Now that's in, rather than rotating the design around like they've done on the Rofus, and I'll do a side by side with them. There's pros and cons to both, I think. But you also have the metal loop on there as well so you can hang it up. It seems to be quite secure though, so if you do flick it around, uh, it doesn't move position. Obviously that wouldn't be very good if it did. And likewise, when it's shut up, um, it won't change position if you knock it. It's not a heavy uh, mechanism on it. You don't need to really push it hard, but it seems to hold its uh, angle quite well. This is a look at the reflector with the XBL HD V6. As I said previously, it's quite shallow reflector, so we're expecting a pretty wide beam pattern off of this. You've also got the coated lens. Just unscrew the base cap. As you'd expect, we've got the threads that are already greased up, and there is a magnet in there under that um, spring, the gold-plated spring. You can also take the head off if you want, and then you'll see there's a contact point at the top there so that means that you can use the unprotected sills with this torch um, which could be quite convenient some of the torches you can and some of you can't I prefer if you can use them myself because um, it's just more convenient and they can keep the cost down as well so you also have a battery voltage indicator so when you tighten up the uh, base cap or you press the side switch button briefly, it will flash out the voltage of the battery. That's a night core feature. So the UI on this, just push and hold is on and off. It always comes on in the low mode. Single press to click through the power levels. And then you just push and hold to turn it off. To get to turbo when off, you just push and hold. But depending on how long you hold it in, is whether or not it's a momentary or a continuous turbo. Now, it takes a little bit of getting used to but it's not a bad idea you can get to the turbo when it's off but you can't get to the turbo when it's on there's no direct shortcut to it don't know if that's going to be a problem probably not and the strobe is a triple press and then single press to cycle through so quite a straightforward user interface on that I don't know why they didn't go for a mode memory it just always comes on in low but it doesn't really bother me to be honest as long as a torch doesn't come on at the high power level or a turbo which can be blinding if you need to use it up close i'm okay with that myself so the overall fit and finish on this is good and the design is different i think it has some pros and cons going for the head rotation or rather the head clicky position but we'll show you the clip which is quite a strong clip you can have that in two positions facing up or down and when you've clicked that in place, that's not going to come off easily. You have to really give that a fairly hard pull to get that off. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. But there's nowhere to attach the wrist strap on the base tail cap. So what you'll need to do is either attach it to the metal loop there or to the side clip. Not a big problem. Just thought I'd mention that. And as you'd expect, good fit with the included holster. Quite happy with the Nightcore holsters. I have been for a while because they're decent enough quality. This is just a quick look through the user guide. So I'll put that on the screen for you 
so you can have a little look through pause it if you need to it's pretty straightforward so you shouldn't have any issues quick note on the side switch not easy to uh, depress by accident so i don't see that a lockout or lack of is a problem on this torch you really have to push and click it in place and you will feel that where it has actually engaged the switch comparing it to the rofus tr20 you can see that the night court is a bit shorter now the situation does change when you rotate the head they're pretty much the same length you can see the Rofus mechanism, it has a twist mechanism which gives you the advantage that you have uh, more angles with the Rofus but it is quicker to change the position on the night core. There is a slight gap on the Rofus but obviously with the night core that mechanism is exposed, i.e. the greased up section. So you might want to perhaps, if you're in a really dusty environment, perhaps you work in construction or something like that, might want to get uh, silicone grease just to lube it up occasionally depends on what sort of environment you're in it is designed as a working tool so i assume it's going to appeal more to those types of users you do have the micro usb on the rofus for built-in charging and you can remove the base magnet i'm not sure if there's a patent on the rofus design that may be why nightcore have gone for something different or they might have just gone for something different because they wanted to the side switch uh, the position on the nightcore is different that might work a bit better rather than being behind the torch which it is on the Rofus so I can see why they've put it on the side I'm left-handed myself doesn't really bother me the switch being on the side when you're holding it so on to some of the beam shots now we're going to start off at the low um, low level second power level in and move up you'll see that we have a fairly warm beam pattern in the middle it's quite spread out as we go up the power levels but it changes there is a tint shift on the outer edges so it becomes cooler uh, you can see this perhaps a little bit less in person than on camera the camera picks it up a bit more it doesn't particularly bother me but it is something which is quite common to this emitter and i've seen it on other torches as well now we go through the rofus just to show you the difference the power settings are a bit different on this compared to the night core you've got more focus in the middle and a bit less spread so the night core might work better if you're up close so there's a bit more range on the rofus and i'll switch between the two now you can clearly see the difference between the two torches of the power output. You'd be hard pressed to actually notice any obvious difference. I'm going to run through some more beam shots and we'll come back with a few thoughts at the end.
I did my usual water resistance test, no problems at all in that area and the magnet on this torch is really strong. It's one of the strongest magnets that I've seen on a torch so if you put it in place it definitely stays there and that's exactly what I'd be looking for with a torch like this because it's very likely you're going to be using that and it's aimed at someone who's going to be using the angle head more. So a couple of points, head design does mean that the mechanism is exposed, you probably need to re-grease that. Uh, mode memory, possibly would have just gone with the last power set um, rather than just going to the lowest output and perhaps some people might want instant access to turbo when it's on not just off but there is quite a lot to like here the battery voltage indicator you've got good power spacing on the five levels you've three strobe modes and you have that interesting uh, loop design the metal loop on the back so you can hang the torch up as well so I think it's going to work quite well for someone that wants a work torch the wide beam pattern as well is going to appeal or if you're into something like exploring caves uh, search and rescue things like that you might need to adjust the angle of the head you could clip it onto your jacket pocket or at the front and it can be quite a useful design i'd like to see more angle head torches there's some advantages and disadvantages comparing it to the rofus one that i've used previously thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one